It's a tribute to the man dubbed the Maverick. Tomorrow, the new documentary featuring Senator John McCain airs on HBO. Ahead of the big debut, some of McCain's closest friends and colleagues are sharing their favorite moments. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks brings us a preview. After watching a rough cut of the Mavericks documentary, John McCain, for whom the bell tolls, Grant Woods, who is McCain's first chief of staff, shares his reaction. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. It takes a lot of talent to put that together and make it work and it really works. Wood says we tend to take the life of Senator McCain for granted because he's been with us for so long here. There have been very few American lives like the one that John McCain has lived. And when you see the documentary on HBO, he says it puts it all together. He's been such a major part of all of us in our state for uh, so long. I, I look at it now and, and I appreciate it all the more how lucky we are. Wood says the HBO documentary crew took over his office for a couple days and filmed there. The film also includes interviews with family, friends and political figures like former President Barack Obama, Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton. I actually hadn't seen uh, some of the things that are in the documentary. He says the documentary doesn't have narration. It's all old video and news footage. It goes way back. One of the most meaningful parts of the documentary is when McCain talks about the situation he's in. It's just a real uh, lesson and role model for all of us on, on how to face the, the end of life. The six-term Arizona senator agreed to participate in the film shortly after being diagnosed with brain cancer last July. He gave HBO access to his daily life in Washington, D.C., as well as his ranch outside Sedona, a place Woods has visited McCain and his wife Cindy several times this year. His spirits are, have improved and I think he's, he's actually better. Uh, having said that, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously a very tough situation. You know, it's a terrible disease and a tough prognosis, but having said that, um, this guy's an amazing guy. You can tell he cherishes all the times they've spent together. Woods hopes everyone who watches the HBO documentary hears a message. The country needs to see uh, this life of this great American hero and take that message forward. We're a special country with special obligations, and that mainly is to fight for every human being's right to live free. That's what John's done his whole life, and I think hopefully he thinks that message hopefully will outlive him. The documentary will air tomorrow, Memorial Day on HBO. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.